Welcome back. Here now, joining us in the studio, Zamir. Zamir, welcome back to the studio. Well, thanks very much for having me. Let's get right to, last time we, we spoke, uh, you were just on the heels, or you just wrapped shooting the music video that we just showed. And a lot of success has come as a result of that. First of all, tell us the backstory again about what the song was about and how you teamed up with the Paralympic hockey team. Well, the song's about, uh, the message behind the song is, you know, it's not about winning or losing success. Is, it's all about pursuing your dream, right? right. So that's what it's all about. And, and you know, it's, it's specifically talking to, to folks that are in certain situations don't, I don't, you know, and, and they don't uh, receive due recognition, mm -hmm. in, in my opinion and in their opinion. And, you know, it happens today, for example, in the Olympics and the Paralympics, right? The Olympics are completely overshadowed the Paralympics. Sure. They, and we, they did don't, a great, don't. we did a great job in the Paralympics this year, which a lot of people Absolutely, don't absolutely. That, yeah. And they receive like less than a quarter of the support. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that makes no sense. Right? Right. They work, the, they work uh, as hard. So, you know, the song's about that. And so, and hence we had the Paralympic uh, sledge hockey, some members of the team, uh, show up in the music video, so it was, it, that was what the song's about. And the music video has been received very, very well uh, by uh, a lot of uh, Canadian, uh, I guess, TV channels, news channels, and right. especially with the Paralympics happening now, I guess they ended yesterday. And you know, I, I, we, we didn't really plan to push this for the Summer Olympics, it's more of a nice, uh, Winter Olympics, because it's a sledge hockey. Sure. But uh, the, the response is amazing. I mean, it's playing on much music uh, right now, which is very cool, which is mm -hmm. very exciting for us. Uh, now you're uh, a singer-songwriter, right. and uh, you know most times when I meet singer-songwriters, they tell me about the one-off gigs that they're doing at the Silver Dollar or somewhere around town. Right. Uh, but when I was talking to you backstage, you were telling me about going to Norway to perform. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell was, me about that experience for you. It was, uh, you know, apparently I don't think a lot of people know there's a lot of Pakistanis in Norway. I didn't know um, that. Apparently, I guess some new industry sprung up there, uh, <laughs> IT or oil or something like yeah. that. So there were a lot of people there. I had no idea. It just came out of nowhere. And uh, of course, we're going to go and perform. And it was huge. I mean, it was you know one of the biggest audiences I've ever played before, like thirty or forty thousand people. You know, it was wow. more than the Sky Dome when I performed at the Sky Dome in Toronto. So it was just amazing. It was a great feeling. As for the trip itself, it was. A blur. It was like a drunken night. You know, I don't remember what happened. I was there for a day. Ah, <laughs> oh, right? the life of a musician. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was there for a day. Yeah. I don't know what you expect. It was jet lag, and then I was yeah. performed and woke up and came back. So, but I, I want to get into the singer songwriter thing because it's a talent that sometimes people take for granted in this pop music uh, phase of uh, you know popular culture that we see every day. Where where are you getting your inspiration from when you're writing and you're sort of carving out these songs? Just my life story. I have an album about my father who passed away. A complete album. I probably have two albums about him. I have, you know, albums about, you know, my family. Whatever experiences I'm going through, you know, uh, the challenges of being a musician. That's what the song is about. I win a defeat. Uh, that's what it's, it's just all. It's it's a really honest sort of a trade. I mean, it's the more honest you can. It's a very straight principle, which is why I love it so much. You just be honest in your writing. And, and you found uh, an a good amount of success in a short amount of time, but I have to wonder, there's a lot of basement musicians out there on their garage bands making tunes, doing, you know, it's starting to hit the ground, running, so to speak. What do you recommend to them with reference to their art? Just just stay true to it. Just keep uh, going at it. Uh, study it a lot, as mm -hmm. much as you can. Study not only the, the music side of it, but study the business side of how uh, the music industry works. Now you went from uh, a cold ice rink doing a music video to uh, going to Cuba. Yeah. What is that yeah. all about? What are you shooting next? Tell us about that. Well, you know, I, when I was growing up, I always had a dream that when I have my music videos, I'm going to you know, have the hottest girls in it. And we're going to, you know, gonna, I'm going to take my turn making out with them and stuff like wow. that. But that, that you, didn't you happen. You need to do hip-hop videos. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the first one, it was about hockey. So I'm like, you know, let's change it off a bit, go to Cuba. No, I'm joking. It's not going to be that uh, detailed. It's a love song. Uh, and it, it, it's, it's just a beautiful setting. And it's, uh, it's a call, song called With You. Okay. Uh, that's not out yet, but it's going to be out with the album, which is going to be out in the beginning of... Uh, uh, 2009. Okay, so drop the website really quickly how people can stay in touch with you and, and hear Zamir, some of the new music. Zamir is a website. Okay. And I and I gotta say, I really thank you guys for having me. I mean, the show is called Bollywood Boulevard, <laughs> and you know, I'm a, I'm a rock singer songwriter pop guy, and it's amazing because Bollywood, I guess, is not much in the influences that I grew up with. I mean, Govinda, I thought was like a chocolate company until a year ago. Wow. <laughs> so, it's Godiva. That's the yeah, that, that's, you know, I, that's what, uh, yeah. And Govinda's still rocking. Hey, he is rocking. And, I, I was going to wear red pants today, just for him. We'll support you regardless of, of the genre, as long as it's, you're a talented person. We appreciate you coming in to speak with us. And any support we can be, we definitely will. Well, thanks very much for having me again. Thanks.
And moving on, it's Farhan Akhtar's singing debut in the sweet smell of success. When a film surpasses all expectations, two words, rock on. <laughs> 